and now I can officially start Camp NaNoWriMo and reading Save the Cat has saved my ass basically. I'm only on page 37 and I already just cried. I don't know if you can even see it but my eyes are wet. I've been crying and I still have 300 pages to go. <laughs> like maybe 310 pages to go and I'm already crying. So that's great. <laughs> in a nightmare searching in the dark but i couldn't find you there were footsteps coming on the hallway but when i turned around it wasn't you i was looking at myself i couldn't see my face but deep down i knew it was true shadows handed me a question if i ever lost you what would i do what would i do this book is not even this emotional and this is the second time I've cried, and that's only 60 pages. I'm only 60 pages in. It's been hours, but I'm only 60 pages in, and I'm just a hot mess. Honestly, it's only fair for the end of this book to make me cry because the beginning of the book made me cry, so. And at 8.04 on the 2nd of July, I have finished reading Breaking the Ice, and now I can officially start Camp NaNoWriMo, even though I need to just figure out what I need to do because <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to fix. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I really enjoy it and I think I did a pretty good job and I just know some things I'm going to add and change. But for the most part, I think it's pretty solid and I like it because a lot of people don't like their first drafts at first, but I like mine. I think it's pretty fine. I don't, like I see some big problems, but for the most part, I don't hate it. I really love it actually. So that's good. So I will probably just do more of this vlog tomorrow. I really haven't done a lot since like the end of June. I'll do the rest of this tomorrow. I'm also filming a reading vlog. So once all of that is finished, I'll be able to actually dedicate to breaking the ice. And I really wanna go and write at a coffee shop because I am vaccinated. I can do that now. And I am just so excited. <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday and I finished Save the Cat. I skimmed a little bit because some of the genre portions I just didn't need and I do want to give a trigger warning because she talks about Harry Potter so much in this book. I get it in forms of the context of just using popular books. There's also Eleanor and Park used in here, so another trigger warning. Aside from that, I am very pleased with this book. It has answered a lot of my questions that I had. The Start of Something New is written in third person and has a dual perspective. I felt like this book was more for a single perspective than multiple, but at the end she gave a really good advice on that and I really liked that. I have tapped the rest of the book so far. In terms of genres, I think my books definitely fall into buddy love. especially Breaking the Ice because it's a childhood friends to enemies to lovers. I was most eager to read the chapter on 
writing your log line and synopsis and I think that's what I'm about to go and do is just put some together and see what I come up with because that's my hardest thing is coming up with a synopsis and a log line and I just think that this had really good advice and you can go and watch last week's writing vlog where I actually started reading the first two chapters of Save the Cat so if you've missed it you can go and watch it after this. I would recommend this to everyone. I think it's really great, but just keep an eye out for the mentioning of Harry Potter and Eleanor and Park because I just was skimming. I was like, I do not care about Harry Potter. I don't want to hear about it. So I just want to point that out. This book was published in like 2018, but I think overall it has a really good message. And now I just want a book like this for queer books. So somebody please write it. I have not physically written for Camp NaNoWriMo and I set my goal to 15,000 words and I think that's doable because I have some scenes to write but for the most part I don't have too much to put into Breaking the Ice. Just some grammar issues and some reorganization because there are just chapters everywhere that make no sense so I just need to like restructure it and add some scenes, add some more of the B story and some more of my love interest and scenes like that because some of her presence is just not there um, and I just want to add more of that and just add some bulk to the story but my strong suit is writing dialogue that's how most of my characters personality comes out but I need to add some of the descriptors and really show off who these characters are what their backgrounds are so I've been putting some family trees together on family echo I'll link that down below as well if you'd like to use it it's just a website where you can put together family trees and that's been really helping me to just see my characters and what their lives are. So the majority of my comments in my last writing vlog do have a tense in the comments and I said if you want to see weekly writing vlogs to put a tent in the comments so I know. So I am going to attempt to do weekly writing vlogs. We'll see what happens. This week I've been really busy because I was doing preparation for camp but I was also filming a reading vlog which you'll see on July 11th so mark your calendars for that put on my bell notifications so you don't miss out on that vlog but I was doing that too so I had a pretty good week for I finished reading Save the Cat I finished rereading Breaking the Ice I've been doing some research I ended up getting Max Domi's memoir No Days Off as a used copy and that is going to help me more with my research on type 1 diabetes because I do have a side character who is a type 1 diabetic and I was watching some videos last night of hockey players who are type 1 diabetics and I just want to do as much research as I can because that is not a representation that I have because I really want to write that really well and I would get sensitivity readers for that certain representation because I want to make sure I am not leaving anything out and that I'm doing as best as I can and I'm very excited about that. I learned a lot last night when I was watching a YouTube video um, and I'm going to keep doing that. So I really just learned that I need to be adding more detail. I'm stronger at writing dialogue but I need more descriptors. What do my characters look like? Who are they? and what are their family background. My love interest is very passionate about social justice issues so I want to add some of that as well. I have some of it towards the end of the book but I want to just flesh that out through the whole thing especially in the midpoint. I just finished editing the writing vlog and I forgot the most important part of this week. I found my notebook from last year for camp where I just have all of these notes and it made me feel so good because going back and reading the book I honestly felt like it was not my book because I could not remember most of the scenes that I've written um, but it's all right here in this book and it's really awesome. And I went through because I remember I did some note taking. I was like watching a TED talk about diabetes and I wrote some notes down. And so I got a lot of good stuff and I was just happy to find this notebook again because it just has so much stuff and some things that actually will help me that I did not know about. Um, so I am just glad that I wrote everything down. So I just wanted to mention that before this video ended. That was all I wanted to mention so on to the rest of the video. And 
reading Save the Cat has saved my ass basically. So I'm going to edit this video, get it up for weekly writing vlogs. If you are participating in camp, let me know what you're doing, what's your project, what's your goal, all the stuff like that. And if you have read Save the Cat, what do you think of it? I would love to hear it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe. And I will see you next week for another weekly writing vlog.